we're going to step outside the box today. Would I wear this on an everyday basis, girl? No. Okay. Today's video is going to be something totally off the wall. The color, just the entire look. Girl, listen, we're gonna step outside the box today. Before I even begin this video, check out my new t-shirt. Y'all know how much I love me a good graphic tee. This is one of my favorite YouTube reactors. There are a couple that I really do like to watch. And this one right here, Miss Lala, it's Lala. Check out her YouTube channel. She does really good reaction videos. She spills the tea, she gives her thoughts. I like her because she definitely keeps it real and I could relate to her. So you guys definitely head over to her channel and check her out. I won this t-shirt in one of her giveaways. You know I love me a good t-shirt and plus I always love to support all of my favorite YouTube channels. So make sure you check out It's Lala. I will definitely post her information below. She also does sell merch so I also link her merch site down below. Go ahead and support her. You know, we always gotta support our sisters here on YouTube and I'm all about love and support. So listen, it's 2021, hon. Make sure you jump on a bandwagon and check out her channel. I'm hoping this wig comes out really nice. I've never worked with this company before. Listen, girl, I ain't never even heard of them. And I also dimmed the lights in the backdrop, in the background. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where the light is darker in the back. And so I figured I'd give you guys some ambiance. We could be romantic together, seduce you with some dim lights. Maybe it'll make a difference in the video. I don't know. So this well, wig right here is like an orange. It's hinting like it is an orange color. So it does have an elastic band already sewn in it. I'm hoping that it's in the right position because I didn't even try this wig on. But I did tweeze it as good as I could get because of the color. And the knots really do look decent on it. I just washed it and then I pre-tweezed it and then I washed it again to get the curl pattern back. The curl pattern seems like it's loose on some areas but that's to be given because it's color processed. But I'm really hoping that this elastic band is in the right spot. Just gonna jump right into this wig video tutorial. We're gonna see what it do. Okay. One of a kind, one of the better boys I'm on your level, that's what you say But all I hear is noise I don't have time for trying my luck I've been too hurt before You're not that special Just give it up, I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter what you do guess i have to tell you again because you haven't got the news but you really need to understand that i don't want to be a girlfriend Tell. So deep under my spell Sorry, not sorry That I'm no help Cause I'm full of myself Boy, don't you worry You'll find someone Someone who wants you back But that is not me So give it up Haven't you had enough? I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter you do guess i have to tell you again because you haven't got the news but you really need to understand that i don't want to be your girlfriend all right you guys so let's try this wig out now the density that I have is 180% and the inches are 24. On camera it looks very bright but it's actually not this bright in the front like it's not like a highlight orange. It's a lot more subtle than this. And I do apologize in advance for any blurry scenes in the video. I gotta reposition my camera. But 
I'm just going to be cutting the lace off. I'm pretty sure you guys don't even care to see that part because I am more than sure that you guys know what cutting the lace is. Remember I did say it had the two elastic bands on the sides which you could remove. Now you see my hair is kind of like peeking through the front of the lace and that is because of the elastic bands. They were sewn in a position where it was very uncomfortable and it wasn't allowing me to sit it on my ear properly or above my ear properly. Instead of me just taking the entire wig off and cutting off those bulky pieces to the removable elastic band, I just kind of like brushed to push the wig back a little bit. The hair texture is very soft like okay let me tell y'all it's not all sleek and you know thin it's very fluffy and and, and textured like and i do like that a lot about the wig that it's not like you know i just really don't like it when they're too sleek and curly it gives it less body so that's the reason why i like when the hair is kind of like more fluffier more, more cotton like if that's what you want to say i don't know girl but I like the texture of it. The color is very bold, and that was a woosah because I really need this to come out right. But the color is very bold, and you know, it's it's just not an everyday wig for me, but it's cute to step out the box. So there was a little bit of issues with the cap, which was the black elastic band. I would have had to unseen the entire band even the little hook part to get it off the cap to make it fit properly it kind of was in the way of my ears so i just pushed it back as much as i could and tried to bring it forward as much as i could so some of my hairs are out on the side because i just really wasn't into unseaming the entire black elastic band i'm gonna just be honest i'm not like a really big huge fan of the ones with the big bulkiness on the side the elastic bands like I just like the elastic to be sewn directly onto the cap, not no extra hooks so it could be removed. Just sew the elastic directly onto the cap. That way it's not bulky, it's not interfering, it'll fit. So that's the issue that I seem to have. Only with certain companies does it work out properly, but this one, it just didn't, and I really didn't feel like sitting here and cutting it off, unseaming it. I just didn't feel like it. Now, as for the color, it's really pretty. I'm liking this orange. That's why I wore my It's Lala Gang t-shirt today, so that way it can match with it. Okay, honey, listen. With this particular hair color, you know, for me, I just got to be kind of like neutral or stay in this color zone. It's really pretty. It's different. The knots are great. You don't see any speckles. You might see like, okay... Maybe one here and then one there. They're not all gathered in a group. Like, you know, they are social distancing with one another. Really different color. Would I wear this on an everyday basis, girl? No. Okay. But I did have to use my actual pressed powder only because I didn't have on a stocking cap. Well, I do, but that damn thing slipped all the way back here so you can see, like, my dark hair. Normally, I do like my colored wigs to have, like, a tad dash of a dark root. It could be like a half of an inch. I really do like it to like at least be a half an inch, not an inch, but like a half an inch. So that way it looks like it just kind of like grew out. Even though we know it's a wig, girl, we could always pretend. You know what I'm saying? You imagine that it's yours and it's yours, honey. When I washed it, it didn't bleed like that. It wasn't like any 
residue was some, but for the second time when I washed it, because I did wash it twice, um, it just was kind of like a solid color of water. So, you know, that's the plus because I don't like any type of dye dying out into the tub or the sink because then you know the color is not going to last for long. It's going to lose its vibrancy. And girl, I don't really want it running on my brand new t-shirt either, okay? Check out Lush. I'll leave the information down below. And also make sure you check out my girl, Miss Lala. It's Lala. I'll link her information down below. I'm going to go. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Peace out. Stay safe. Don't get in no trouble, girl. Okay? And I will see y'all on the next one.